Hello, and we're back. It is meet the speaker time here at TEDx in Dunleary. But before we introduce you to our next speaker, we want to draw your attention to sponsorship. So as you've seen there, all the amazing brands that are already behind TEDx Dunleary and have sponsored. We are looking for more sponsorship mm -hmm. so that we can continue to grow um, to grow TEDx, to make it more inclusive and to invest in the young change makers, which is something that is unique to TEDx Dunleary and that's looking after the next generation. This is year three of the young change makers and there is amazing plans for the young change makers for 2021 and indeed way into the future. So if you can help us make that happen and the plus side of that is your brand get to be up there in lights beside TEDx Dunleary and TEDx yeah. is a global brand with all of the reputation that it has already so what a combination to have your brand you know sponsoring a TEDx uh, is just phenomenal and so, it's even bigger this year because yeah. our TEDx this year is virtual on the 23rd of October it means that um, for the first time it's going to be aired in front of the world basically so if you were on our sponsorship card mm -hmm. on the 23rd and then from then to download from there on in your brand would be included in all of our PR yeah. everything like anything that goes out to do with the TEDx on the 23rd and all the speakers talks afterwards yes. and everything so yeah. get in touch uh, you can email you're here on the page contact us through the page get in touch with us if you would like your brand there or maybe you've got an expertise because we do need social media managers and lots of expertise especially in the digital space so if you can uh, let us know if you'd like to be involved and speaking of digital we are bringing our speaker so let us do this yeah that's a yeah. great introduction <laughs> Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Catherine. <laughs> so here is our digital expert speaker. So it is. <laughs> How are you? Doing? Good, great. Yeah, it's a lovely day here in Dunleary. As you can see, I've got my um, loyalty to our town clearly evident from the T-shirts, super T-shirts about our town. Great history. So tell us a little bit about your history, your background. What brought you to the red dot, or wanting to stand on the red dot and share your idea worth sharing? Well, our town is at a very interesting point, and I've been involved in Dunleary um, throughout my life. My parents' first shop opened here back in the 80s. I went to school near here. I did my dissertation, uh, my master's dissertation, about how the nearby Institute of Technology could engage with business in the town. So bringing all those things together in what I do now, this digital HQ facility above Bank of Ireland in the heart of the town, it felt like the right time to kind of share that uh, model with a larger audience. Many towns across our country are facing similar challenges uh, in this COVID era. Yeah. What we're doing here with Digital HQ is helping support small local businesses leverage digital. We're also helping um, to, to bring more digital type businesses into our towns, take off a space here. And that benefits local small business. They do their shopping here, they do their dry cleaning here, they buy their lunch here, etc. Mm. Wow. And that's so important for the town zone. Like they're so lucky to have you because like you said, in this particular era at the moment with the COVID, like so many small towns mm -hmm. are struggling and there's it's so sad to see all the different shops closed and that's you know, the struggle is very real. Well what I'd say, Catherine, is that yes, the narrative at the moment is 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 you know quite negative. However, um I would feel that towns have a great future because mm -hmm. if towns can adapt, you know, they have the raw ingredients. If you've got empty properties, if you've got determined small local businesses who want mm -hmm. to keep going, and if you've got a willingness amongst the community of that town to, to adapt and change, there is a fantastic opportunity going forward because what, what COVID-19 has really accelerated is changed ways of working. You know, people want to work locally. They don't want commutes. They don't want to work in office blocks, uh, be they digital companies, be they traditional companies. And towns are ideally suited if they're willing to change mm -hmm. so and adapt. And we all have to be in this current environment. So our prediction at Digital HQ, Catherine, is that within 10 years, 
the second largest use of space on our high streets will be for professional co-working spaces. And that's an exciting vision for the future. Yeah. Bringing oh, life. Right. Totally, that's brilliant. And you know, you're so right, people don't want to commute. I, I don't want to commute anymore. I mean, I like traditionally would be three hours in my car every day. Yeah. And I can tell you, I did not miss that during the period of time of COVID, I really, really didn't. And I might go to different schools all over the country, but I can tell you once they allow music teachers to come back into schools again, I'll be looking at schools in Kildare, which is where I'm from, you know, yeah, or, or stream into a school. And that's yeah. also for the digital. Um, and uh, this is a personal question, but maybe you might be able to answer it, you know, in terms of the digital, like our schools have been shown up for not being digital, like in in the 21st century like they don't have the digital ability like for example currently most of them for me to zoom in it will a music class because it's not the internet isn't strong enough their computers are obsolete their you know their whiteboards haven't been serviced in 10 years there's no budget like is this something that you'd be looking at in the Dunleary area as well like would the digital hq deal with schools and universities and things like that too well i'd I don't think it's unique, Catherine, to schools. I think COVID-19 has highlighted that many organizations, be it, you know, traditional doctors' practices where we all queued up to see the doctor, you know, driving there, dri parking outside, driving away again, instead of just doing a virtual uh, consultancy, um, be it schools where there's far more opportunity to leverage digital than has yeah. been to date, but we have a traditional approach where, look, everyone has to be sitting in front of the teacher, yeah. sitting in front of the doctor, sitting in front of your accountant, sitting, you know, we have a, we have a kind of a 19th century, it's you know, true. approach where, you know, if your staff aren't sitting in front of you, they're obviously not working. Yeah. So, you know, what COVID-19 has highlighted is that, you know, people will use digital, will work virtually better. better. Very, be far more productive you know we're we're saving on queuing time we're improving people's quality of life i think Catherine, to your point about schools in particular you know we also had kind of a 19th century attitude to children and to families you know it was frowned upon to bring children into work it was frowned upon to spend too much time saying to follow fellow colleagues oh sorry i'm going to be late into work today got caught up with with my children at home that was not seen as being okay in the past it was quite a quite frowned upon yeah. when, yeah. you know which makes no sense which yeah. makes no sense like where where are we going where's the next generation going to be if it's not the, the kids yeah. so that that's a really positive thing the long-term change that's going to come from our society i deliver digital marketing training for the local enterprise office here and occasionally my son will run in and join in the session <laughs> <laughs> And the participants are delighted and their children come in and join the session. So instead yeah. of it being, sorry, this is a secret, you never get to <laughs> daddy's work. Yeah. Can you talk about your work on parents when, when they're asked to talk about what did your mom or dad do? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll come and ask you because they've no idea. They've no idea. They've no idea. <laughs> you know, so, so I think that, that traditional attitude, the children are kind of over there and they don't intrude on the sa sacral, sacred workplace. That, that has to go and has gone thanks to COVID. So that's positive. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, you know, all the work that you're doing for Dunleary, I mean, I'm sure it's really, really appreciated. And like, is there, like what else is in the pipeline then on? So what we do at Digital HQ is we run business area promotion campaigns supporting local businesses under the name Love Dunleary. So our focus this month is on upcycling. So businesses oh. that take you know, disused furniture, disused jewelry, disused um, whatever it is, and upcycle it, repair it, and resell it. Wow. Last month, we looked at interior design under the Love Dunleary brand. And then we also, under our digital Dunleary steering group, try and, and attract new businesses into the town. And then with our co-working space here as well, subject to COVID-19 limits at the moment, try and attract um people into to take offices here etc so our plan is to continue doing more of the same Catherine and and if we can incentivize more business owners sorry landlords to convert empty retail because there is plenty of empty shops into co-working spaces that would be even better again brilliant I'm going to know about your the red dot I'm like ah. <laughs> well, yeah, well, what? Do you with this and then land on the red dot in relation to it 
Are you a big TEDx fan anyway? Oh, we're having yeah, a for people. Yeah. Absolutely. I watch it all the time. All the wow. time. I'm particularly interested in artificial intelligence. I did my di dissertation back in, in, in college about the impact of AI, and that was nearly 30 years ago. Um, I'm interested in the whole medical advances area. It's fascinating talks on TED about that. And then the kind of motivational talks, like anytime you're feeling a bit low and, yeah. and fed up, yeah. just plug in a TED talk and, and you, you, it's inspiring. So, yeah. yeah. We're just saying there down below, we have our YouTube channel where you can see all of the, the 2019, 2018 TEDx talks on our YouTube Super. channel. So make sure Super. you subscribe there. Um, yep. Because like that, I found captions. And even though I, I was live in the audience, I took a lot more away from it watching it again. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And Janie Lazar is a fantastic champion for it in, in Dunleary. Yeah. Um, plugging away year after year. And, you know, and it helps bring Dunleary to a much larger audience. You know, yeah. okay, some people struggle to pronounce our second name, but <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I <laughs> But what's really interesting, Amanda, is that this is the hundredth year anniversary of the renaming of the town from Kingstown as it was during the Empire days to yeah. Dunleary. It was a hundred years ago this month or last month that the town was named oh, Dunleary. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, interesting. yeah it's interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. And so on going from like watching TEDx yeah. talks to actually doing one yourself. Yeah. I mean, how did you find it? The well, look, I, you know, I was a bit nervous. Um, I haven't done unscripted talks before. I'd usually have slides that I work through when I'm when I'm giving a talk. And I, you know, I do the digital marketing training, so I would be used to talking. But it was always talking to a kind of a script. So being unscripted was a little bit daunting. Um, it was a great team there uh, on the day, and they were very very helpful and, and reassuring. And I got through it, yeah, in one take. So I was, I was quite pleased with that. And and also I kind of acknowledge the key role of both my parents um, in my career. Um, my parents were both small business owners, and that's kind of been very influential in the choices I've made uh, with my career. And yeah, I'm very grateful to them for that. And you have a talk down here that you've done. I'm just going to pop it up here. So this is a talk that you've done already that people may yes. find interesting. Absolutely. So I, I talk about the future of town centre regeneration, our partnership with Bank of Ireland and Dunleary Down County Council in that, and then kind of a little bit about, you know, the impact of my parents, small businesses and working with them over the years, uh, my personal motivation. So I, I think it's quite an interesting podcast. So I think this is really good. I think um, anyone who's watching this right now, you should really take a look at this particular talk because I think this leads into your TED talk it then, does. which which we can't hear until the 23rd, but it's going to be virtual. The whole world can tune in on the 23rd then. But guys, take a look at this talk here as well because, you know, this this is, it's just so interesting. I love this whole thing. And mm. oh, if you, you have no idea that people all over Ireland, all over the world are looking at this yeah. and you make a lot of sense. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people are going to take your lead in relation to regenerating the town, mm -hmm. looking at town mm -hmm. um, spaces in a different way, looking at it in the way that people who live in a town can work in a town, can Absolutely. be in a town. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back community. Yes. Bring in back community. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, there's a very interesting um, book about new localism, it's called. It's a guy from the States, Bruce Katz. And he talks about this, that look, real power lies locally where people work and live, real power yeah. to change. Yeah. So that's really been accelerated by COVID-19, that acknowledge that, that, that awareness. And look, you know, I'd be very happy to talk to people if there are people out there in towns who want, right. kind of, you know, a blueprint, um, what we've done with Dunleary, I'd be very happy to share that. Yeah. And, and we have your, you know, your links are going to be with this, Meet the speaker, Owen. But like, what's the best way to contact you? Because I know you're on Twitter and Facebook. Well, and the best way is on LinkedIn. So I'm going to drop yeah. my uh, my LinkedIn address yeah. here. Brilliant. Yeah. To the the chat there, and you might, as you've shared the other link, you might share yeah. this one too, if that's okay, Amanda. So okay. yeah, the best way to contact me is on LinkedIn. Brilliant, because I I do think that you know. Pete, you you're ahead of the game. Like you you're you're already doing this. You know you're already doing so much for Don Leary, mm. um, and I think so many people are going to want to take these on board and and you know do that for their town. Like an old friend of mine is involved with Love Castle Bar. Oh, and, lovely, um, yeah. 
yeah they've done an awful lot of really really great things over the years so i mean there's just somebody like that who's watching and go oh yeah great sure. yeah, yeah. And look, if, you know the more networking goes on between initiatives like you know digital don uh, or love castle bar or whichever towns they are the, you know the more impact and benefit we're going to have you know so absolutely because i mean i'm always saying a brainstorm and ideas when you get yeah. you get a lot of brains around the day you know, <laughs> magic happens yeah, yeah. Magic and also happens. amanda it becomes infectious you know that there are <laughs> people plugging away and making a difference and that yeah. that that helps you know yeah. that you belong somewhere you're not you know exactly. you're not always trying to do it exactly. alone and there sometimes the most hair-brained of ideas can actually work yeah, you know, when, when somebody else just puts a little tiny spin or a tweak it this way or yeah. tweak it that way and it, that's how that's you right. know innovation happens correct exactly. yeah definitely yeah. so would you like to give a shout out to anything else then while we're talking to you now well, no, that's it. Again, to thank Janie for her fantastic work and putting this all together. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Amanda and Catherine. I really enjoyed it. And I look forward to our, our TED Talk videos going live on the 23rd. Yay, the 23rd. So we're going to do our, our inclusion sign language. So we're going to do thank oh, you. Okay. And a round of applause. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.